but the welcome is just as warm. In the last 15 years, Fiji has made a name for itself with the quality and value for money of its resort hotels. Almost too good a name, it seems, because many people know Fiji only as a resort holiday with a perfect beach and a superb tropical climate. It still is all these things, of course, and that's not a bad recipe for a relaxing holiday. But there's so much more to see and do. A whole nation, a unique culture, and a great many island surprises to discover in the Fiji you don't know. Dive in and discover Fiji's best kept secrets and the true warmth of the Fijian character. Their reputation as the world's best hosts is well earned. And there's no guile here. Everything seems simple, even those things which are not. Like fire walking. Fijian fire walking is an ancient mystery, presented as a simple fact. Two mysteries, actually. How can the men from Benga Island walk slowly across rocks that are hot enough to flash fry your dinner? And how can they smile as they do it? In resorts and villages throughout Fiji, visitors are given the traditional welcome with the Yangona ceremony. The ritual panoa bowl and the drink of kava signify a genuine welcome, a mutual respect, and an acceptance that cannot be bought. Few people know the range of places to stay, the styles of accommodation in Fiji. There are traditional thatched bures on several of the islands, and at the other end of the scale, there are modern bure resorts costing hundreds of dollars a night, with European chefs, private beaches, and every conceivable luxury. There are also Western-style resort hotels of all styles and price levels, and since Fiji is a nation of islands, dive in and discover some floating hotels. Every day, a cruise ship sets sail from the Toka for a four or seven day cruise of the calm blue waters of the Yasawa Islands. With no more than three hours cruising a day, there's plenty of time for snorkeling, sailboarding, and local island experiences. Other cruises range from one to 12 days, from around $45 to $300 per person per day. There are no bare boat charters in Fiji. Although the waters are calm, the reefs are tricky for visiting sailors. But there are several skipper charter boats to be had, from eight up to 30 people, on modern luxury vessels, or on beautiful old schooners, tall ships, or catches. Of course, blue water and white sand bring Fiji to mind. But where is the Fiji you don't know? Is this a Balinese market? No, it's market day in Fiji. Is this Club Med? No, it's just some of the activities available in Fiji. Is this Queensland? No, it's rainforest in Fiji. With a rented car or four-wheel drive, a map and a spirit of adventure, there's a green and beautiful Fiji waiting to be discovered. Dive into inland Fiji and discover waterfalls and rainforests mist-covered hills and tranquil valleys that most resort tourists never see. And you almost don't need a map. A friendly wave and the call of Bula will get you clear directions, even off the beaten track. There are several places up country where the rivers provide another uniquely Fijian discovery, bamboo rafting. A bilibili like this is a timeless and serene way to float past some beautiful country and the world's friendliest people. For those who like to fish, there are plenty of ways to enjoy it. Hire out a game fishing or sport fishing boat, or join the fish in their own world with a snorkel or scuba gear. 
The waters around Tavayuni, Kandavu and several other areas are world famous for their gin clear visibility and unique soft coral formations. There's also a uniquely Fijian way to fish. It's called a fish drive. Visitors are welcome to join the circle and simply walk in at low tide. Why don't the fish swim past the vines? No one knows, but it's a fascinating part of the Fiji you don't know and the friendliest way to catch lunch. There are several ways to island hop. There are four domestic air carriers with a range of scheduled and chartered flights to many of the smaller islands and seaplane services will get you to even smaller ones. There are also ferries and water taxis as well as charter boats and cruises. At the end of each day, no matter which island you're on, you can be certain there is always, somewhere near, a perfect beach for a romantic stroll. Perhaps that's why so many people choose Fiji for their honeymoon. With the sound of the surf and the scent of frangipani on the warm night air, having spent a day discovering the Fiji you don't know, this is the time to rediscover the Fiji you do. Oh, my.